Hi, hi, hi. Hello, everyone. Wanted to bring an update for the family of four that had been kidnapped and then ultimately it um, sadly were found deceased. They had arrested, I'll take you down to him, this gentleman right here, right? And his name was Jesus Manuel Salgado. And it was announced today, this man right here has also been arrested. Merced County Sheriff Office stated that yesterday evening, the Merced County Sheriff Office with the assistance of the California Department of Justice arrested and booked Alberto Salgado into the Merced County Jail. Alberto Salgado is the brother of Jesus Manuel Salgado, who is suspected of kidnapping and murdering Arohi, Jasleen, Jazdeep, and Amadeep. Alberto Salgado was arrested for criminal conspiracy, accessory, and destroying evidence. So conspiracy, right, being involved with it, um, having conspired about the plan, having known, right, what was about to be happening and in such accessory because he was a part of it. Um, he took role in part in in some aspect of this, right? And ultimately destroying evidence. So um, they, you know, none of this are they giving um, further details into it because they are wanting to prosecute it, the case and they don't want to compromise that in any way. Um, also, they did state, um, we have received numerous inquiries about possible interviews with our team. At this time, we will not be scheduling any interviews. We greatly appreciate our media partners and we'll keep you updated about a press conference in the near future. Right? So maybe something's coming on the horizon, possibly, says near future. Um, and then also this here, I will show you um, in a moment, but it's the family um, of four. Uh, has the family has set up a GoFundMe account. And to please take note that this is the only GoFundMe account that has been approved by the family. And you can find the page below, which I will take you to the page and read to you what they have written. And then also they put out this information as well, stating that our team has received hundreds of messages and phone calls asking how the dog is doing, which was at the scene of the kidnapping. We'd like to reassure everyone that the dog is under the loving care of the family. We thank everyone for their heartfelt concern. And honestly, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was really a concern um, because that dog was definitely a part of that video, right? And you could see how the dog knew something was happening. Something was not right. Something was going on. Um, and then let me bring you over here right quick to the GoFundMe and I'll read it to you. <clears throat> so their goal is 250000 and they're at 55000 I'm going to leave this in the description as well. That'll be down below in the description box. But um, it is says that this is the story of our shared American dream gone wrong. Our loving family was violently taken away from us on October 3rd. A criminal kidnapped and murdered our beautiful eight-month-old Arohi, her mother Jasleen, her father Jazdeep, and her uncle Amadeep. As immigrants to America, they worked tirelessly for 18 years to achieve safety, security, and community for themselves and their families. Aman and Jazdeep were the primary bread earners for the family, supported their elderly parents, and lived under one roof. Right? Who's left behind? They are survived by Arohi's grandparents, Radhir and Kerpal, um, Aman's wife, and their children, a six-year-old and a nine-year-old. Um, Radhir 
and Kerpal were overjoyed in recent years to see their family grow. They were proud of their sons, Aman and Jazdeep, a cherished playing with their granddaughter, Arohi. They recently traveled to India to plan a Lohri, I am not sure if I'm saying these right, uh, celebrating Arohi's arrival in the family and now miss her greatly. They are left with a void in their family that cannot be filled. Jas is now a single mother taking care of two bright children who are left without their father and cannot fathom why their dad will not return. Who were the four of them? Orohi loved to run around the house in her walker and was a joyous child. She loved being held in her grandparents, aunts, and uncles' arms. Her eyes were always full of joy. She meant the world to her little cousins, which were the ones that were mentioned, right? The six and the nine-year-old. Orohi's parents, Jazdeep and Jazleen, married three years ago in India and reunited two years ago in America after Jazleen's immigration. They were barely starting to make memories together as a family with their baby. In keeping with his name, Aman, meaning peace, was calm, positive, charitable, and always ready to help others. Aman was the rock of his family, a great dad who always made time to cuddle his son, read with his daughter, and treasure their many art projects and other accomplishments. Aman was loved and admired by his wife, Jess. Aman routinely donated food to the local food bank and found comfort in his faith, never missing Sunday service in the temple. He was a caring elder brother and a role model to his cousins. What are we asking for? We are grateful for the prayers and tremendous support was shown to us by our community. While nothing can fill this void, your prayers and donations will support the upbringing and education of the six-year-old and nine-year-old and provide financial relief to Joss, Randhir, and Kirkpal in Kirkpal in these difficult times. Right. So ultimately, the grandparents um, and the the wife that um, got left behind. Uh, and this says our beautiful family with some photos. Unbelievably so sad. Oh. And then they put um, some news coverage uh, sites here. And yeah. So I wanted to share that with you. Like I said, I'll put that down in the description box below if you'd like to take a look at it yourself, if you'd like to donate. Um, I know how some people feel about uh, GoFundMe's and so it's completely up to you um, what you'd like to do, but I at least wanted to let you know about it. And um, they do have a couple of uh, videos out about this, um, but I will just end the video here. And uh, I just want to pass that along to all of you. Keep them in your thoughts and your prayers, everybody. I will talk to all of you very, very soon. Take care.